and whenever I hover over it as you can see my text so in this video I'm going to create another micro transition for our button and first thing first we need to create a button so I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and then I'm going to tap anywhere on the canvas like so and then let's just type the label of our button which is going to be in my case button and then the next thing would be styling this text which I'm gonna choose uh, another font for it so I'm gonna search for Rubik something like that um, set the font weight to medium and set the font size to 14 and as you can see that the height of my text is an odd number I want to make sure that's an even number so I can easily style my button in order to do that uh, one of the things you can do you can basically change the line height and as you can see the line height by default for the size 14 is 17 and I'm gonna change it to 18 and as you can see my height is changed to 18 alright for the button animation I actually want the text to you know slide up actually move the other text out of the frame and when you hover over it basically a, a text from bottom comes up in order to do that I need two texts here in Figma and a frame so yeah first we're gonna create the frame then I'm gonna show you how you can actually animate that so while um, selecting my text I'm gonna hit Control alt G to create a frame for this one and I'm gonna rename it from the layer section you can see that it's selected I'm gonna rename it to text container so we know what we're dealing with and then I'm gonna duplicate the text by hitting Control D or Command D on my keyboard and just move the new text to the bottom of the the other text like so and as you can see our container is right here but the text is actually outside of it but we, we want to make sure that this text is basically hidden in order to do that what I want to do is basically select my text container go here to the right panel and check clip content like so and successfully our text is hidden alright now in order to create our button we need to actually create another frame for this and apply some paddings colors and style it in however way we want so um, yeah in order to do that again I'm gonna select this text container hit Control alt G on my keyboard and rename this to button now in order to create a button and make sure it's responsive I'm gonna apply auto layout to this so I'm gonna hit shift A as you can see auto layout is applied let's just style our button I'm gonna add a fill color which is gonna be maybe a blue stone something like this yep I'm going to set, change the text actually from here to selection color from selection colors I'm going to change the text color to white so I'm going to hit three F's something like that and now let's add some paddings so from left and right I'm going to have you know maybe 28 and 14 from top and bottom something like that or maybe go with 32 16 yeah that works as well and yeah let's set some corner radius maybe yeah 12 yeah that's okay and the next thing we're gonna do is basically convert this to a component so I'm gonna have this selected and come here hover over this icon that says create component alternatively you can hit Control alt K but I'm gonna use this icon so I'm gonna hit this button and as you can see our button is converted to a component in order to animate this to another state actually we don't we want to reuse this animation all over our product so we need to create a variant here in order to do that I'm gonna have my component selected here then come to the right panel tap on properties to create a variant as you can see from this drop down I'm creating a variant let's call the variant um, hover and the default one is gonna be false and then I'm gonna increase the size the, the width of our component a little bit and then I'm gonna duplicate this one 
bring it over here and call it true. So the state for this one, the hover state is going to be true. The next thing we're going to do is basically go to prototype and then select our false state, you know, the, 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 the one that state is false, the hover state is false. Then hover over one of these plus icons and so click and drag it and connect it to the next one. I'm going to set the trigger to while hovering and the type is going to be smart animate because we want to slide the text and then for the transition I'm going to go with yeah easy is out is okay and maybe 200 milliseconds is okay as well we can you know you can play around with this and figure out what uh, settings is best for you and then I'm going to select this one go back to design and then for the animation I want as mentioned I want the text to be moved out this text to be moved out and the next text comes from bottom bottom so in order to do that what I want to do is select the text that is already active here as you can see I'm going to use my arrow key here and tap a couple of one a uh, couple of times to the top so top arrow key I'm going to move the text out of the frame like so and it's completely invisible right now and then from the layer section I'm gonna choose my other text which from here is down here uh, on this frame is gonna be down here as you can see if I uncheck my clip content you can see that the text is right here and if I uncheck click content here you can see that our original text is up here which is moved to the top and the next one is gonna be you know move the other text to the top so when I uh, bring it to the actually to the center of the frame I'm gonna hit alt V to make sure it's centered to the um, button and if I want to check that out I can easily select this and hold alt to see you know as you can see it's centered so 16 pixels from bottom 16 pixels from top here as well this one 16 pixels from bottom and top so our placement is okay next thing I'm gonna clip this content and now we're done we can basically um, test our animation in order to do that let's go to assets find our button and bring it over to our preview frame like so I'm gonna select my frame hit shift space you know to play it and whenever I hover over it as you can see my text uh, moves the other text up and we have a kind of a text sliding animation but yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching let me know what you think on the comment section below as always leave a like please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one cheers